Hey guys, welcome back to Better Biomed. Today, I want to talk to you guys about PMs versus repairs. This is something that haunts every single biomed that you'll ever meet, and it's a balancing act. And it's one that's going to create huge amounts of frustration throughout your career, and the emphasis is going to be different, but depending on what hospital you go to. And, uh,. thing is when it comes to PMs and repairs PMs are gonna make your boss happy and your customer not so much because equipments not getting repaired and repairs well repairs make the customer happy and your boss not so much because you're not focusing on your PMs which are reported metrics to the EOC board so what do you do it's a really tough one I'm curious about what you guys do um, it's a known fact that a majority of techs will stack up broke equipment next to their desk. And do they do that because of lack of skill to diagnose and repair that equipment? I don't know. I'm trying to change that here with whatever I can do. Um, these are the guys that will be calling tech support. They'll farm hours out on work orders and then they'll eventually just ship the unit off to the OEM anyway. You guys know who I'm talking about. There's, there's a bunch of people that do this. So, it's it's just an interesting situation. I'm just curious what you guys do because, I mean, it's true. Like, while focusing on repairs makes customers happy, the boss won't be happy about that. You know, his metrics are down, but you just wait until an inspection time. And then when you start seeing PM tags that are expired on your equipment, then your customers will throw you under the bus. So there's that to consider, too. Don't think because they're happy because you're getting all your stuff repaired that they're not going to throw you under the bus the first moment they can uh, when they get inspected and they're, oh, there's expired tags on some equipment because they will. And I'm just curious, what do you guys do when it comes to repairs versus uh, PMs? Because if you're shorthanded, you got to focus on one more than the other because you can't do both. There's you just It's almost physically impossible to do both. So I'm just curious, guys, because its I know it's one of those things that just completely frustrates me. It frustrates my peers, and, you know, there's there's nothing we can really do about it. If you're shorthanded, you're shorthanded, and you got to focus on something. But uh, if people don't get their equipment from repairs, then there's actual patient treatment stoppages. They have to cancel cases. They have... You know, they're fighting each other for equipment from department to department. There's all sorts of stuff that happens. So I'm just curious, guys. What do you guys do? And how do you solve some of these problems? Because, you know, if you have enough people, that's fine. I mean, then you can divvy it up and you can have a whole variety of solutions. But if you're required to be at work from, let's say, 6 or 7 a.m. to 3 or 4 p.m. every single day, and during those hours you're running from repair work order to repair work order what do you do you only have eight hours in the day right so just curious guys I want to hear from you guys what do you guys do anyway thanks for watching I'm just thinking about this kind of stuff this morning <laughs> let me know in the comments below bye